it's the WC back with another video I wasn't expecting that that's why I wanted to do it but anyway man this is basically a video trying to decipher between NBA Live 2018 and NBA 2K18 first up is going to be NBA 2K18 as you can see on the screen you see LeBron you know what I'm saying with the serious face you see Chris Paul with the serious face you see Durant coming up the court and all that good stuff I'm, let me let me tell y'all something man let me tell y'all something 2K's problem hasn't necessarily been the way that it looks it's been the way that it plays and raise your hand right now hold on hold on raise your hand right now if you're sick and tired of the players feeling like a bag of bricks raise your hand go ahead raise your, raise your hand raise your hand if you're sick and tired of the CPU in the late input lag okay raise your hand go ahead, go ahead raise your hand like my problem has never been with you know 2k and the way that the players look and the way that the jerseys look you know what I'm saying even though some of the players have looked you know they look terrible and it looks like the jerseys have been painted on they fixed that this year okay they, they added in that dynamic to fix that this year my problem has never really been with the way the 2K has looked. Even back in the day, we talking about 2K7, uh, uh, the way that the, that the players look. 2K8, you know what I'm saying? Ten years ago, the play, the way the players looked. I never really had a problem with that, but it just kind of feels like 2K is kind of deflecting away from the gameplay. Oh man, we got brand new beards. All the colors of the jerseys are fixed. Oh my goodness, you know what I'm saying? The shoes, the shoes has always been a thing. The player cards and all this other stuff. The my player, all that garbage. That stuff has always been a, a, a status quo point. You know what I'm saying? For where 2K wants to hit y'all with. They want to hit y'all with that type of marketing. Alright? And there's nothing, there's nothing completely wrong with that. Alright? But what's wrong with that for us is how are you guys going to compete with live? Alright? And live is doing the same stuff. As you can see on the screen, you know, that's coming up. It, rather, I'm talking about it, but rather it's on the screen right now or I'm talking about it to come up. You'll see the tattoos. You'll see the, you know, the, the player improvements for live. And just like with 2K. I don't think that 2K and live get it, all right? We want the players to look great, okay? We really do. We want the players to look great. We want them to look good on the floor. We don't want Kyrie Irving to look like he's Gumby. You understand what I'm trying to say? And he kind of looked like that on the, on the live trailer. Kind of looked like that. But, you know, we what we want from out of these games is that we don't want too much fluff. We don't want anything that's going to take away from the gameplay. We want stuff that's going to enhance the gameplay. All right? Because at this point, I think that the majority of the community is like, look, you know, I don't care if the game looks like complete crap. If it plays like a simulation product, if things that happen on the court aren't illogical, some of y'all can't spell illogical, but that's okay. If everything on the court makes sense, I don't necessarily care about, you know, somebody's left tattoo or the stitches in their knee pad. We don't give a damn about that. So it's like, you know, if we don't give a damn about that as consumers, okay? Because at this point, you know, the Xbox X, you know, One X is coming out. You know, there's, there's there shouldn't be any more limitations on, you know, on the, the capabilities of these games. You know, we have to hold somebody accountable for these games looking like garbage. All right. We really do. And if, you know, and if EA is not going to, you know, really bring it. And I think that they can. All right. I was having because I was having a discussion with some of the gamers in the gaming community just the other day. I think that upon launch, now listen to me close. I think that upon launch, 75% of the gamers, basketball gamers in particular, sports gamers, will put, will pick 2K over live. That at launch, live will have about 25% of the gaming community. They'll be like, man, you know, I'm just sick and tired of 2K and their bullshit. You know what I'm saying? They're just gonna be like, I'm tired of that. All right. I think that as the year progresses, I think that this will be split. Because I think that live is coming for these guys' neck. Because I'm looking at these screenshots. I looked at the videos. These are, these are screenshots from the videos. I think legit 
that 2K should be worried. I, I think that they should be at least a little bit worried from a gameplay standpoint. Because, you know, you guys are selling us all the all their eyes is glistening when the lights hit it. I don't give a damn about that. I care about if he's gonna if he's gonna respect the game of basketball fundamentals when I'm playing with him on the court. 60 frames per second. There's no more excuses for these freaking companies, man. We have to start holding these people accountable. If you're going to ask me for 80 something dollars, I think that that's one of the prices for the Xbox One X games, you better freaking bring it. Mr. WC, drop a like, drop a comment, man. And until next time, folks, peace out. I don't give a damn about your tattoos, all right? I don't care about your shoes. I don't care about none of that stuff. I don't care about the, your beard. I want the gameplay to be crisp, and this goes out to 2K and live. Y'all better bring it.